Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends series retro card Mr. Fantastic. So let's go over the packaging first. So first we get the uh, Marvel Le um, the uh, Fantastic Four logo here with the red four with all the Fantastic Four members in that flying vehicle. Then we got Mr. Fantastic there in that red font with his stretchy arms. You don't get much in the sides here. Here is the back and showing you how you can change out the arms and the hands. And then here you get a nice picture of Mr. Fantastic there. And then here's all the figures in that wave. You get the description down here too. So you got Mr. Fantastic, The Thing, Invisible Woman, uh, Human Torch. You got Psycho Man and High Evolutionary. And then you get all these this stuff here. Here's the tag I got from Walmart. Uh, so check out your Walmarts if you haven't already. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here is Mr. Fantastic uh, package here. So let's go over the accessories, which aren't a whole bunch, but... We get these arms here that you just switch out. So you get the stretchy finger hands here, which are just completely white. We've seen these hands before with the uh, Fantastic Four wave that uh, built uh, the Super Scroll. And then you get the nice navy blue there. You got a white splotch there. It's not a big deal there, though. And then you get that peg there that you just pop into his uh, other... You get swatch arms. And... Yeah, this is the only accessories that, that we got. So here is Mr. Fantastic up close. So um, I'm not sure if we've gotten this head sculpt from the Walgreens exclusive one. I'm not 100% sure. I didn't get that one. I got the other one that was in the wave. Um, and then, yeah. Uh, actually, I do have the Walgreens exclusive one. I take that back, and now I remember I have it. So um, I guess we'll do a comparison on that here in a little bit. But... Uh, yeah, here's the head sculpt. You get the gray on the sides here. You get the curls and around the face there. You get the brown eyes. Uh, this one, this pupil looks a little bigger than that one. I don't know if it's just me. It kind of does. And then you get the white collar there. You get the four with their white circle around it. And you get the white belt. And then you get the pizza spidey legs here, actually. And then you get the lab coat, which we've seen before. I believe, maybe. Uh, actually, I'm not 100% sure if we've seen this lab coat before. But we've definitely seen these arms because they saw pins in them. Same thing with these legs. I also know that these are the spidey legs. Beats the spidey legs because the pins and also this kind of ankles kind of pop out. So, and they're pretty skinny legs. So, yeah. And then you get the white hands here, which we've always seen. We've seen before. These are gun holding hands, but you can use it for different ways and then yeah let's go over the articulation for him real quick so he has a disc ball joint head so you'll look down that far you look up that far left and right uh not a whole lot of hip hitting there shoulders can move out past 90 degrees 360 rotation there biceps hole double jointed elbows there and then this one's like a wide open hand by the way wrist can hinge down that far up that far 360 rotation there he has an ab crunch so you can go down that far uh with the lab coat he can't go backwards that much, but if you take it off, you probably can, which I'll test out once I switch it out. And legs, they could probably go out farther than this because the lab coat, same thing. You can kick forward that far, backwards a little bit. I think it's the same deal with the lab coat, maybe. Nope, not really. And then you got thigh cuts there. Oh, and 360 rotation there in the, around the waist. Uh, you got double joint knees here that far and then ankles can hinge down that far and up that far nice ankle pivot and to pull to take off the in this to switch the arms you just kind of pop it out it's kind of nice and loose so you can do that and we'll take off the lab coat while we're doing that so yeah boom and to test out the backwards motion uh you still don't get much actually so i guess the lab coat didn't really do anything for it so then you grab these, pop those bad boys in. I probably won't have them with the lab coat on just because it'll match well with the other Fantastic Four members. And then boom. So yeah, that's what it looks like. And if you don't want to stretch any hands, pop those off, grab these. I grabbed the wrong one. There it is. Grab that, pop that one in. And then you could switch those out if you want. 
So yeah, that's what it looks like there. And here is the Retro Mr. Fantastic next to the other uh, Mr. Fantastic from the uh, Super Skull Builder Figure Wave. Um, and then, yeah, that's what they look like. Just, I really do prefer this look just because it's sleek and he's got the beard, makes him look like a badass and you get the treads on the boots there. So it's pretty cool. And then here is the Retro Fan Mr. Fantastic next to the Walgreens Exclusive. And obviously you can tell the difference here with the arms. This one's like a bendy wire one. So you can bend that around, uh, which I kind of like quite a bit compared to the, just the stretchy fingers. And yeah, they have the same head sculpt actually, and actually the same body mold actually besides the arms. So yeah, it, it just kind of did a repaint on this one actually. So, and then they added different arms for and new accessories. So yeah. So yeah, that's the Retro Mr. Fantastic for you. I like this figure, I like the design. I just wish they had a brand new body mold for him just to switch it up a little bit maybe. Uh, the head sculpt they don't have a problem with. It's just a body mold. They have the pizza spidey mold, but I guess they wanted to go with the retro look. So I guess it's not that big of a deal. I just kind of wish they did a different mold for, I guess, maybe the top torso maybe. But that's really all I could say that would change. Um, but yeah, this is a cool figure. I recommend you get him. Right now, I know it's hard to find them because they're not really released yet. I got lucky and found uh like the whole fantastic four members i couldn't find the villains yet so yeah just keep an eye on your walmarts because those are coming out and stuff so uh yeah but besides that i like this figure and yeah uh make sure you guys check out my link tree in the description it has my tiktok twitch instagram and twitter if you guys want to help support me on those but besides that thanks for watching